Well, it's been 52 days, and for the first ever time, the cookout got together in one room to make it official. But first, let's talk about production's shittiness. That's pretty much what a lot of tonight's uh, talk's going to be about. We got to start with. Um, an interview today on heavy.com with DX. You know, all the jury members do interviews when they're eliminated or everybody eliminated goes on these interviews. But it's very interesting how the production let a certain interviewer ask a leading question to Derek X to kind of give away the cookout, which he had not figured out, I see excuses online like he was figuring it out and he still wasn't. When Julie asked him the question in his exit interview, he still thought Alyssa was somehow involved in the big alliance that Kylan talked about in his goodbye message to Derek X. Derek, Kylan mentioned that there was a bigger alliance that had been working together since the beginning. And y'all could correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't remember in most of the past seasons until maybe the last few recent seasons, so many different websites get to interview the jury members. And Heavy.com doing a terrible job asking that leading question to Derek X. Basically, the leading question was, you and Claire figured out a low-key alliance in the house talking about the time they were joking about figuring out like if all the black people were working together. It's um, pretty ridiculous that they got away with asking that question because it can definitely interfere with jury and people could lose votes for that bullshit like questions. Uh, terrible from production to let that go through and yeah, I mean, for my games on this channel, I can sometimes go extreme. You know, if I have returning players coming, I have started to do a whole fucking rat program that if somebody is talking to you outside of the game, which is against the rules, you better let me know. Because if it comes out eventually and anybody that's involved, they're done forever. So I think if I can take some such big fucking, um, you know, rules to a little fucking YouTube game, I would think a game for $750,000 would be able to do that with uh, this fucking trash ass press that sometimes comes about. Such a leading question. And it truly affects things. And anybody that's, you know, caping for the white woman that asked the question, I've seen some of it on Twitter, like, well, eventually they're going to figure it out in the jury when people are talking about it. Well, yeah, that's the point of the fucking game. They're in jury now. They're not supposed to know until other members of jury come and tell them, not find out in some fucking shitty little interview from heavy.com. Anyway, let's talk about more production problems. Let's talk about the fucking coin flip. So Tiffany loses her HOH because of the coin flip. And Claire wins the coin flip, but Claire decides, you know, with this powerful coin flip advantage to become secret HOH, Claire gets the HOH powers and keeps noms the same. So Sarah Beth and Kylan stay nominated next to Xavier, who's nominated from his over-the-top twist. So, yeah, that's a little anticlimactic, don't you think? I mean, I'm fine with it because it doesn't ruin Tiffany's uh, HOH, which is why I said yesterday it's a good thing Tiffany won because Claire was the only cookout outsider that could really fuck with the HOH, and I don't think she's going to fuck Tiffany. So the plan remains to vote out Sarah Beth. If Sarah Beth happens to win veto, I mean, would Claire then nominate Alyssa? Would she listen to nominate Alyssa. I mean, Claire has not shown any evidence that she's going to go against Tiffany. So I don't know. Either way, production stays fucking up their own games. 
in whatever fucking way they can from letting ridiculous questions get asked in random interviews to jury members to a bunch of over-the-top twists that the cookout has so far outplayed. It's just always anti-climatic with any ideas the idiots in charge come up with. But let's talk about the cookout. Uh, You know, Kylan found himself in a bit of a mess today. His social game continues to unravel on a weekly basis, it seems like. He was upset that he was one of the last in the cookout to learn that um, Claire was going to be the one to play in the coin flip. And for whatever reason, he was upset about that, I guess, because he wasn't in the know. I mean, he's used to manipulating the past two weeks. The power went to his head. And he doesn't like being left out of some of the decisions, even though when he was HOH, he left everybody out of his decisions that week when Brittany went home. So per usual, Kylan being a fucking hypocrite. But I am glad to see the cookout finally after 52 uh, fucking days in the house after seven and a half weeks in the house they finally get to have a little meeting it was very little because xavier was sleeping they had to wake up xavier to go into the bathroom they all made the cookout official on day or night 52 but i think that's just really a testament to what a great game the cookout has played I think they are outselling many of the past big alliances on this game because of the unique way they have been able to go about this. Um, The brigade brigade did, uh, you know, make the blueprints for this sort of alliance, but I really do think the cookout has perfected it. Maybe I'll talk about that more. In the coming days, we'll see how this week turns out. But yeah, there's no more HOH room this week, Tiffany. <laughs> I mean, it's it's crazy how the show just fucks up things because, you know, the, it hates its fan base. This show definitely hates its fan base. It, the, let's run through more production has done this season. With this twist that they created to give players BB bucks, it basically got fan favorites. I mean, the fans voted for their favorites in the top three every week. It got the fan favorites that weren't Derek F voted out of the game. It got Brittany targeted, targeted. It got Derek X targeted because they were getting the BB bucks. And of course that's going to put a target on players' backs, especially when they're talking about it so much themselves like Derek X did. And then as much as I, the the Tiffany stands have gotten on my nerves this entire season, they finally get it Tiffany HOH only for it to be taken away in theory. I mean, she runs Claire at least, so at least she has that going for her, but still her HOH gets taken away from a ridiculous twist that flops and is anticlimactic. And it's not like, you know, this show does, has a history. It does have a history of fucking over black women as HOHs. That's another thing we'll go, we should talk about, but I'm not gonna go into it. And plus, you know, they're gonna, rumored has it, they're gonna have that triple eviction here in a couple of weeks. So. They're never going to actually get to have history on this show if the cookout were to make the final six. So, you know, as much as this show has hit strides this season and healing itself from its racist issues of the past, with this production team, they always find a way to fuck it up themselves in many different ways, but whatever. But that's basically all that happened today. Claire is the secret HOH, but the nominations remain Tiffany's initial nominations of Sarah Beth and 
Kylan and Tiffany's acting to Sarah Beth, basically the whole cookout acting plus Claire, that Tiffany won the secret HOH and kept noms the same. They're doing that so that um, so that Claire's protected right now, basically. But if Sarah Beth wins and Alyssa goes up, I guess they some people in the cookout plan on telling Sarah Beth the truth that it was Claire in hopes that they'll target each other next week. But that does it for my talk today. Cookout with their first official little meeting, making the cookout official. After 52 nights in this game and a hell of a game played by the members of the cookout to keep this alliance under wraps and to manipulate the hell out of the outsiders.